Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting technique where you can add images to your tables in Power BI. Not only that, but you can also add images to slicers in Power BI. All right, people, let's do this. This is going to be fun. All right, I'm in an Excel file, and that's where I have created a very simple table just to help you understand that what is the data that I'm trying to work with. We just have two columns. The first column is the people column. Uh, these are just the family members that I have. And the next column is the image link column. That means I have taken some snapshots of the people and I've taken that and I put it up on my blog somewhere on a public link. That's very, very important, right? If the link is actually protected by a password, Power BI most likely would not be able to read that particular file. All right, so uh, name of the person and the image link that is available on the web. All right, now let's just take this table and load that table in Power BI and see that how can we fetch the images from the link and present them in a table or in a slicer. All right, I'm in Power BI and the data has been loaded. There's just one extra thing that you will have to do in Power BI to help Power BI identify that these links are not generic links, these links are pertaining to images. So what you do is you come to that particular column that contains all the links and you click on that. You go over to the column tools and far right here, you will find something like image URL. So you mark the data category as an image URL. Now, once you do that, and if you drag this particular link to the matrix visual, this is actually gonna show up the images. Let's just check it out. So I'm just gonna go back to the visual, uh, the canvas right here. And in the canvas, I'm just gonna draw up a blank a matrix visual. I'm gonna pull up my people right here in the rows, and these are all people. And we have the image link. I can just drag the image link right here. And you can see that although it got dragged to the column section of the pivot table, but it does show me the um, images right here. Never mind. I'm just gonna drag that to the value section of the pivot table, and I do get to see all the images right here. Now, one of a very, very minuscule challenge is that at the total level, I am getting to see my own image. This is because if you take a look at the summarization that is happening on that image link column, it's the first image link. Now, obviously at the total level, the filter context is nothing. So it just picks up the whatever the first person's image was there. And hence, that that is me. What you can actually do is you can actually replace the uh, actual dragging of the column with a measure, right? So what you do is, I'm just gonna get rid of that column dragging into the value section. And I have written a very, very simple measure. The measure says that if you have one single value in the image link, that means you are actually working on this particular filter context, which is the name of the person, only then you show the image link, otherwise you just don't show anything, all right? So I drag that, and of course, this also has to be marked as the data category as image URL. That's also important. And once you drag that measure into your pivot table uh, or your matrix, you are actually going to see the images against the names of the people and not anything else. Now, let's just try this, that if we actually, instead of creating like a table, can we create a slicer and have the images over there or not? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of this, get rid of this, and just change this visual into a slicer visual. In the slicer visual, I'm actually gonna take my image link. now. Uh, in slicers, remember that a measure cannot be placed in the slicer. You would need a dimension or a column to be placed inside of the slicer. So I'm gonna take my image link and put that out in the slicer and voila, what do I get? I get a slicer, which is like a drop down, but I can actually click on the names of the people on the image link and I can go pick up their particular image. And you can actually link this to any other calculation, probably for an employee table or something, and this will actually do out a pretty uh, neat stuff in your Power BI report. All right, that was all about placing images in your tables or slicers in Power BI. Now, I haven't particularly used this technique anywhere in my Power BI model, so I just happened to read a blog from Microsoft, and that's where I learned the technique. I found it interesting enough to share it with you folks. If you happen to use it with some creative, fun aspect in your reports, please do share that with me in the comments. If you anyways have any questions around this, please feel free to drop in a comment, and I will be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses. In case you're starting out with Power BI and you need help right from the scratch where you want to learn the fundamentals first and then you want to move on to solving more challenging, more sophisticated problems, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for spending time with me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.